Prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal, Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time, Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers and sisters, that I that have greatly sinned. sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by the power of God are safeguarded through faith to a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the final time. In this you rejoice, although now for a little while you may have to suffer through various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that is perishable even though tested by fire, may prove to be for praise, glory, and honor 
at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, yet you believe in him. You rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works, giving them the inheritance of the nations. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. The Lord will Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Your word is a lamp for my feet. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all of these I have observed from my youth. Jesus looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then, come follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his word. So Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Sa mga misa po ng burol, aking sinasabi madalas na ang realidad nating mga tao, kaya tayo may pananampalataya, ay gusto nating makapiling ang Diyos. No? Kaya nga tayo nagsisimba, ang pinaka-ultimate goal or end natin ay mapunta sa langit. No? Yun ang gusto natin lahat. Klaro tayo doon. 
Pero kapag tinanong tayo, sinong gustong mauna? No? Walang may gusto. No? Lahat tayo ay gustong magkaroon ng eternal life. Buhay na walang hanggan. This question was posed in our gospel reading today by this young man, by this man, no? who approached Jesus and asked him, Papaano ho ba magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan? Jesus told him the rudiments of the faith. Follow the Ten Commandments. You shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not defraud, honor your father and your mother. Kung titignan natin, these are all contained in the Decalogue. Sampung utos ng Diyos. However, sinabi nung lalaking ito na nagtanong sa kanya, eh Lord, nagawa ko na yan lahat eh. So parang napaka-perfect ng buhay ng taong ito. Mabuti, mabait, at mayaman. No? Sana all. Ganun lahat. Jesus looked at him, loved him, and had pity on him, and said, You are lacking one thing. Go, sell what you have, give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. A lot of commentators would suggest, no? Was Jesus condemning wealth? Was Jesus somehow not good with person, people, who has, you know, a lot of money? No? Who's wealthy naman, na nakuha naman nila yung yaman na yun in an honest manner. No? Sa totoong buhay lang po, lahat naman tayo ay gustong maging maayos ang buhay, maging mayaman. No? I guess I would like us to focus on the action, the verbs that Jesus was telling. Go, sell what you have. What does it mean? No? It means that we should be in constant um, thirst of somehow looking for that meaning in our life. No? That we may not be complacent kahit sa tingin natin ay secure na sa ang ating buhay, especially kapag mayaman na tayo. Selling, what does it mean? It means that we need to exchange perhaps some of our values, no? yung mga pinanghuhuguta natin. And we always have to configure it to how Jesus would want us to do things. And what is this? Follow Him. What is this? Be mindful of the poor. What is this? Not just doing the Decalogue or the Ten Commandments, pero mas malalim-lalim na pakahulugan sa ating buhay. Ang tanong ba, nahanap na ba natin ang purpose na nagdadrive sa buhay natin? Baka wala pa. Ang tanong ba, alam na ba natin ang dahilan kung bakit tayo nabubuhay? Para kanino? Para saan? Baka wala pa. Sinasabi niya dito sa lalaking nagtanong, you are not living for your wealth. Hindi ka nabuhay para magpayaman. Nabuhay ka para maging concern para sa iba. Nabuhay ka para sumunod sa akin. Ito po ang hamon sa atin ngayong araw na ito. Sa pagninilay-nilay natin sa Ebanghelyo. We should ask ourselves, what is that purpose that drives us towards life? Is it success? Is it money? Is it ambition? All of those are good. But go up higher. Have that eternal life. But that is only possible if we are able to go and bargain some of those we think are valuable and exchange it with that which that leads us more closer to God, closer to Jesus. Ano yon? Hindi ko alam. Ano yon? Kayo ang magtutuklas. Sasamahan kayo ng Diyos. 
para malaman iyon. Amen. Please stand. We now pray to God our Father for the strength to overcome the temptations placed in our way by the Lord of wealth and security. In every prayer we say, Father, your kingdom come. Father, your kingdom come that the Church may continually show concern and support for the neglected and the downtrodden of our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father your, your kingdom, kingdom come. That those who call themselves disciples of Christ may realize that what really matters in life is concern for others who are less fortunate than themselves. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, your kingdom come, that we may find the wisdom of seeking first the kingdom of God and of spending our lives in its service. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, your kingdom come, that the sick may be consoled and strengthened by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, your kingdom come. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19 and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, your kingdom come. That our deceased relatives and friends may enjoy the victory of Christ in the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, your kingdom come. Heavenly Father, give us the courage to remind, to remain poor in spirit and to follow the example of Christ who became poor so that we could become rich. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion. We ask of your mercy that what you grant us the source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praise is at nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held his mercy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, Lord, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Bye. 